Good evening to you. Thanks for being here with us tonight. There was plenty of controversy in a Kentucky courtroom today as a woman was sentenced for shooting her husband to death. Pam Bartley received an eight-year prison sentence for manslaughter. Her husband, Carl, was killed in 2007. Some issues made prosecutors and the victim's family angry during the sentencing today, from what Bartley wore to court to the chance that she could get out of jail during an appeal. Dave Spencer was in the courtroom. He has more in our top story at 6. A jury says Pam Bartley shot her husband in the back of the head and therefore should spend eight years in jail. Today, a judge gave her decision in the case. Are both sides ready for the sentencing hearing? It's the final stage in a trial for a crime more than two and a half years ago. But before it could begin, there was an issue with Pam Bartley's wardrobe. To be honest, we've never had anyone who was incarcerated and appeared for sentencing appearing in street dress. So this is a first and we hope it is never repeated. The reason for the street clothes, according to the prosecution, is due to a transfer from Clark County to the Carter County Jail. Both sides of the family have been in tremendous, tremendous pain. In December, a jury determined Bartley should spend eight years in jail for shooting and killing her husband, Carl Bartley. His body was found in his Montgomery County home under boxes and blankets. I have to assume that Mrs. Bartley shot her husband. The jury's decision is not shared by everyone. We believe Pam's innocent. We're going to file an appeal. We don't feel like she's got enough time, but we'll take what we got and go on. But it is shared by Judge Janet Coleman. I'm going to sentence Mrs. Bartley to the custody of the Department of Corrections for eight years. It's okay. We're okay with it now. We can move on. But a decision by the judge will allow an appeal bond of $1 million. That may make moving on difficult for the victim's brother. She's violent and has set a million dollar cash bond and put her possibility of putting her on the street again. Uh, troubles me a little bit. If Pam Barley is able to make her $1 million bond, she would be a free woman for the length of the appeal process. In Rowan County, Dave Spencer, WKYT 27 News First. Also this, Pam Bartley could be eligible for parole 